afternoon, everybody. Let me know if you can hear me okay, or if I need to bump up the volume or anything. Let's make sure that everything's up. Hello, Duck. Hello, Kiyomi, Chronom, RDB, Homie, Superfush, Epic, Penguin. Okay, you can hear me all right? Sweet. Okay, I, I just, uh, <laughs> not me listening to clickbait nonstop. Oh, I am absolutely gonna do a video of that stuff. So I don't care if it's just a demo. It'll be, it'll, it'll be a nice little time capsule for us to remember back at this time, back when the song was a demo, because one day we're going to have the full song and we'll be like, man, let's look back on those times. Anyway. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, I, I, I did want to, to warn everybody that um, I, I just, uh, oh, oh, gosh. Okay, Penguin uh, Penguin is, is making me go from Pretty Koi to <gasps> Kitty Koi, and now I am... Big. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyway, what I was trying to say was that uh, I'm going through some fibromyalgia fog right now, fibro fog as they call it. Uh, I did try to take a nap, but my brain is just too active right now, and I really wanted to do this stream, so I'm I'm a little out of it. But I promise you, I try. I did try to rest for like a full hour, and I could not sleep. Oh, also, uh, nya, nya, nya. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, my key binds for my face is reacting to the video. Oh no, I, I explicitly just changed the key bind so this wouldn't happen and it's now on a different key bind. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Anyway, what we're gonna be doing today? Well, ah! <laughs> thank you, thank you, Obi. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> uh, we didn't do this yesterday because I was a little overwhelmed by everything. Oh gosh, what have I done? Oh, there. Sorry. What is happening to my overlay? We're going to be going over this video uh, very, very carefully. <laughs> and we're going we're gonna to chat about it. And we are going to see what new information we can figure out just from this video. Okay, let me move my way around. Well, Octohacker, we will talk about that after we go through the video. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing once over. I'm going to expect that you guys have already seen it. Okay, so we start. We're in uh, what city is called Splatsville. I'm, I'm just going to say it. It's a dumb name. I do not like that. <laughs> Here's the coffee things. Uh, okay, what? Wait, what weapons are they? What weapons are they holding? Okay, so we've got, looks like Gloogadoolies, whoa! Um, so we've got the big old arrow, we've got Umbrella, and we have, I think that's called the splash that we have. What about these guys? Okay, well, we can't really see very well, but this looks like, you know, like a charger. I guess this looks like the cl so the clash blaster is still in the game some people were talking about like they wanted it to be gone looks like I think this is just a regular splat roller but I could be wrong and I didn't see what this person had what is that what 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 is this hold on uh I'm gonna put my playback speed at half. I'm gonna mute it so we don't get demon audio. Okay, so is that a blaster, rapid blaster, or a gal? Or a nozzle nose? I'm just gonna continue to play it like this for a hot second. So it definitely seems. Oh. 
we could see people's laundry being hung up out here. And we got some arena. And explode out of the coffee. Oh, let's see where they landed. That's interesting. So we've got these, these two are heading out here and these two are just kind of staying together. So it absolutely is a different spotting system. Yes. Yes! Remember what I was saying about like really, really hating spawn camping and like how I was like, okay, jump camping was built into the game. There's dodge rolls and stuff like that. Like jump camping, jump ca like camping someone's jump area, that's normal. They obviously meant for that to be in the game. But spawn camping, people are trying to tell me it's a legitimate tactic. And I'm like, let's watch like spawns be freaking changed in Splatoon 3 so that now you might have to actually use skill to win the game. <laughs> oh gosh, no more force fields. Now you can be spawn killed. <laughs> yeah, there doesn't seem to be a force field. Uh, yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, look, look, they're spawning over there. I, I'm going to assume there's going to be some kind of limit to where you can spawn. Uh, or it'll just set you up that way, but either way, you're not all starting from the same location anymore. I want to, I want to turn on the volume to see what it sounds like. Oh, oh, that's a nightmare of a sound. Okay, let's put it back to normal. So I, I think, ooh, vending machines. Uh, oh, oh, we got a head pet. Thank you for the head pet. <laughs> Casually spawns it on the enemy side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Nintendo's smart enough not to allow that to happen. Um people were saying something about like an old map coming back or something i i do not know i this doesn't look this doesn't look uh, familiar to me in any way we don't even know if this map is gonna be oh hello bat moon welcome to the community enjoy your stay uh i'm actually gonna unbeeg myself there we go casually spawns into someone's apartment no yeah, you're just surrounded by- there's so many people living here. The second map in the trailer is the return one. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, anything interesting on this shot? I can see somebody over here with the charger. I'm trying to see if there's like any weapon types that are not like familiar to me. But it's everything's too small to know. Oh, except for this thing! Yeah, we'll never know what it would have looked like if order had turned up. So, it appear we're we now have a special where we can pilot a mech in the shape of a crab. <gasps> Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I I wonder how long it's going to last for though. I mean, I mean this is that's one that is one hell of a special to have. <laughs> like it dwarfs other specials, it seems. So you've got you've got a protective shield, and then you can just fucking explode people. You roll up. I see some bombs. Oh my! Oh my God! Whoa! Okay. Okay. <laughs> There they go! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much! Oh my god. I believe the Clash Blaster has the crab. Really? Oh, whoa, whoa! And it's got- wait, it's got a force field. So you can't be shot when you're in this. Whoa, so that's- what the f- fuck is this? Oh, whoa! Okay. Ah, thank you. Oh my gosh, Rat Boy, hello. Otherwise known as Zushi. I completely, when you were donating so much to me, thank you so much for that uh, on my 
uh, Splatfest, I didn't realize it was old Rat Boy the whole time. Yeah, okay. The I I didn't I didn't notice this when I watched it the first time because it goes by so far. What the? Oh, I. It's a force field, I think. Yeah, yeah. I. It goes so. This is why I wanted to do this because it goes so fast in the trailer that I have no time to like react to. Uh, to anything. I'm just like, oh, crab! And then I completely missed this. So you set up a big bubbler thing that creates a force field. Okay. And it's on a roller. Oh, oh, yes, please. It looks like a regular splat roller, I think. Oh, that is so useful. Oh, Lord. Oh, murder. Absolute murder. Whoa. Wait, wait. So we're 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 getting real real far out here. Look at little little boats. What, what kind of an area is this? Is this like a campus? Cause that uh, that's I'm I'm kind of trying to figure out like what kind of stages we're getting. Hi, Sea Snake. I'm sorry. I'm just, hold on. I I'm just I'm just preoccupied with the video. I'm sorry. Also, uh, the text of uh, um, let me let me reconfigure my uh my screens a little bit so that um this is easier. See, okay, and hold on just a second. Okay. <laughs> the laughing statues return. There's some sort of transformation that lets Splatsville inklings and octolings travel quickly to ink. Wait, wait a minute. So it's still going to take, there's still going to be stuff that takes place in Inkopolis. That's interesting. Oh, so we got some cute little art over here. See here where we're seeing very different, uh, like, um, like logos. I feel like these places are filled with logos. Very, very different from what we've seen before. Oh, I will stretch. Thank you, Leo. Thank you. So I'm going to stretch out my hands. Oh, that's one big stretch. Mm. Mm. Hey, samples. Hello. Isn't that art from stage from Splatoon 1? Uh, I don't know. Oh, and Rat Boy, I'm sorry. Uh, I turned it off. Uh, just for a bit. Um. Good night. Oh my gosh, so you're going to be on top of turning wind turbines then. Museum de Alfonsino. Huh. Thank you for the head bet. Oh, okay, that's enough head pets. <laughs> Looks like he's got... Oh, yeah, and this thing. What the hell is this? <laughs> so you can sling yourself over to... That is going to lead to a lot of possibilities with exploration. I think that's a charger they're using. Okay, now what? <laughs> yeah, it's a tentacle scarf. So what is the significance of them zooming in for a, a good amount of time? A giant inkling statue. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what that was all about. 
Oh, wait a minute. Was that artwork of the... Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Uh-oh. That looks... Uh, that looks like art of the... Uh, um, what are they called? What's it called? You know, why don't I just zoom all the way in? Why wasn't I doing that to... Sh shut up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so we've got the girl with the braided hair, we've got the guy- what the- oh my. Look at all those chickens! Look at all those chickens! Hi, honey, I'm on a stream! Oh, gosh. Ah, uh, I accidentally, um, locked him out of the house. This is not the first time one of my streams has been interrupted because I forgot to unlock. Okay, he's he's giving me a very gentle hug. I am sorry. I could tell how mad he was, so I was I was rather intimidated anyway. Ugh, so. Oh wait, I also see, I see a little buddy rocking out with the guitar over here. <laughs> yes, he gave me a very gentle hug. Normally he squeezes me like he's trying to squeeze the life out of me, okay? I wonder what this is, because it looks Greek. Or Roman, but I think Greek. No, no, no. And this is not the first time I've seen this whale picture. Well, oh my! What? 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 This is your reward for getting all 900 cards. There is more to come. Hey, hey. Well, I might as well do. Oh! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Yo, uh, I'll I'll tell you. I'm I'm getting some new facial expressions uh, currently rigged for my model that I'll have soon. If I had the crying facial expression right now, I would I would use it. But alas, I don't. <laughs> Thank you so much. God damn it, penguin. <laughs> You do such nice things for me, and then you do me like that, huh? Okay. Uh, now, these little things in the background that I'm looking at could totally just be random set dressing and have, you know... That was easy. That was easy. That was easy. That was easy. Whoa! God damn it. Um... Whoa! Whoa! Thank you! Stop! Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. You get, give me a little give me a little pumpkin <laughs> for Halloween. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was a pumpkin. No, it's try hard. Why did I think that was a pumpkin? I've got October on the mind. It's still September. Okay, so these these guys are just hanging out. Now, where the heck is this? They're in some kind of construction shop. We got just, I guess this guy, this little dude just passed out. Looks like a mask. This looks like a, I don't, it's like a board of some kind. Oh, 
Oh, it's like an arf. This little dude's drawing on the floor. Look at how creative. Oh, and you got a little, you got a little bit of paint on your little jellyfish tentacle. Oh, I'm so, I'm so proud of this one right here. I'm so proud. Oh, I'm getting close to a hanky chain. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess this is an arts and crafts area. Creativity is alive and well. <laughs> Look at this little dude. This little dude hanging over here. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's check out the fashion. So we got a facial guard for some reason. <laughs> uh, we got the oct we got two two octolings, one inkling here. So definitely a lot more octolings are gonna be around. Uh, looking pretty fresh. Don't know what the heck is on his back. That does not look like they're wearing their ink tanks. Although it might be. Wait, wait. It looks more like a like a canteen. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. Yo, the ink tanks are different. Why didn't I notice? They're like flat. Like, like a, a, not a flask, but you know that shape, a flask shape. Yo, yeah, if you, if you look, if you look closely, all of them, all of them are like that. You can't see it on this person because they're in special mode. But yeah, their, their ink tanks are really thin now. So they don't have to carry something big and bulky, I guess. <laughs> ah, big. So that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's like a little pouch. So they're drawn. So that is indeed what they're what they're wearing uh, right there. It's just they're empty because you could see the the. Oh, I'm sorry, you actually couldn't see because of my big old face. Uh, this right here, the like the plug to the to the canteen kind of area. So my dude right here, I can't tell if he is a fashion champion or a goddamn cloud what, like, like what, what what is this so we got black and white checkers okay so the the purple and the gold those look really fantastic together those are complementary colors that's looking fly but then you also have bright acid green mint gold and magenta ah uh, this it's just a lot going on oh yeah three pairs of sunglasses what is this <laughs> yeah how did i not even know it's three pairs of you do not need that many <laughs> now this this guy over here this this guy understands what's going on this is the this is understated very understated uh still got the nice mint but kept with some more regular colors and only one set of glasses because you only need that this this is restraint and this is not knowing when to say no. <laughs> Ooh, now I love this sweater. Oh my God. Gosh. Man, if you want to learn how to draw shoes, just do Splatoon fan art. I got so much better at drawing shoes by doing like 50 different Splatoon commissions back in 2018. <laughs> Sorry, I was taking a drink. Also, new Ooh. hairstyles. Oof, bruh, oof, whoa. Mm. Oh wait, I should probably try to take a look at what they're around. So this se that seems to be one area that they particularly have down the campus looking area. Where the heck is this? So this is the turbine. Are those fountains? What is that? Okay, wait for it to set. Yeah, these are fountains coming out. Okay. So, you know, we've got a whole bunch of good <laughs> gear over here. It's so interesting how 
it looks like Chinese, Japanese, it looks like kanji or hanze, which are almost the exact same thing. But it's ever so subtly not, and actually isn't readable. I love it. It's so clever how they do that. I'm 99% sure they bring back the stages in Splatoon 1 that weren't in Splatoon 2. Hmm, I don't know. Oh gosh. Seamus. Hold on. Lovely graffiti as always. <laughs> okay. Somebody's got their force field up. Oh god, this looks like a smile with broken teeth and I don't like it. Burst bombs flying through the air. Mm, got more drip hanging out under a bridge. <laughs> That Inkling's outfit was cha was chaos, but chaos did win. <laughs> ah, Woo! Oh, she danced him. So we got this motherfucker over here. So, ah, I see this is in the stage. This is a big stage. I don't know. Is it just me or does this feel really, really huge? And then it starts glitching out, and that's when you know shit gets real. And yeah, this looked fucking weird. Like, first of all, what's on its eyeball? What is that? And I was so, c <laughs> yeah, like it's Return of the Mammals, but why are the Octarians becoming mammals. That's not how evolution works. <laughs> they, they don't just, okay, hold on. Let me, let me look something up. It's crazy what happens to my model when I type. I mean, let me put myself back to normal. There we go. <laughs> I'll get a stream deck someday. Okay, so there's things called taxonomic ranks. That's the species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, kingdom, domain, and then all of life. You know. It, evolution doesn't just cross taxonomic ranks around. It doesn't, it doesn't do that. But then again, there is that ink stuff, that rainbow looking ink that made you all fuzzy. So I'm wondering if it is some villain trying to bring back the mammals with genetic engineering. But what the hell is on his eyeball? I don't like it one bit. The fur is it's just like, oh god. Why is it furry? God, what what are wrong what's wrong with its eyes? <laughs> and it has gross little monkey feet. <laughs> but I can absolutely see uh see genetic testing. Yeah, it's like there's mercury on their eyes. Genetic testing going on to try to bring back mammals. Like, wasn't there uh, some stuff kind of about, like, 
you know, g genetic superiority, genetic supremacy, making the perfect specimen kind of deal going on in Octo Expansion. So, I mean, it wouldn't be too much of a leap in the kind of story that they tell. What if the Actarians are using DNA from mammals to turn themselves into mammals to become stronger? We see that when inklings step into that furry ink, they, yep, they turn into the furball. That's what I was talking about. They lose their free will. Do you know that they lose their free will? Is that, has that been stated yet? Officially? We know they're trying to take over society. It was confused. So, like, t tell me more about that. Do you have a, you can't send me links, but tell me something to look up and I can look it up. So, I was right that they're trying to turn themselves into mam. Okay, so, uh, so what you're telling me is that that's already, my theory was already confirmed. <laughs> Okay, what kind of hellish place are we in this time? But we got little buddy with us, obviously. There's a website about Splatoon 3 stuff that lists all the new stuff. Search up Splatoon 3 website and you'll find it. Let's see what happens to my model when I look this up. Okay, not, not too much, actually. <laughs> Are you just talking about like Nintendo.com? <laughs> That's the first thing that popped up when I looked up Splatoon 3 website. We have no idea who this is, so. But it's. Look at that! <laughs> Wait a minute. Shit. Uh, I'm getting. I'm getting lost. appear to be in some kind of let's see here definitely a wasteland so abandoned facilities I believe it's not hard to deduce now this is fucking weird what is going on here why is everything upside down cuz I I'm going to wager that uh, you know if for some ungodly reason that they were just upside down, that, you know, Buddy would fall out and the tentacles would be like, wee! So obviously, gravity is sticking everything to this side. Why is there just up? What? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, okay, Zapfish. It looks like. The zapfish are being stolen again. I see that that tends to be the same thing over and over. So we got the Easter Island head. So it is, uh, where are those located exactly? Okay. Uh, why? Because, I mean, you start out in Paris. That, that, that's the thing. It's like you start in Paris. We see the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is also upside down. Could that have significance to other things being turned upside down? Maybe. But, I mean, you're traveling a long-ass way if you're going to these things. But I, I, everything also, everything seems very snowy. Uh, if you look down here, it looks like snow. I don't think it's the, I, really? You don't think it's the Eiffel Tower? You think that's the Battle Tower? Why did I never consider that and just be like, that's the Eiffel Tower? I don't know. May, I, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. <laughs> but we got the Easter Island heads. Uh, walk. They're building stuff by it, and definitely climate has changed. I mean, we we def we definitely know that Nintendo was like, this is later in the existence of Earth. 
climate has definitely changed all over the globe. So, well, ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, you are prepping that. You are prepping that thing for a kaboom, aren't you? Maybe even uh, land masses have come together. So places like Paris and Moai are near each other. I don't fucking know. I'm just speculating. I don't have the map out in front of me. But I love a speculative biology. That's actually one of my favorite things is watching videos about speculative biology. Like dinosaurs, future evolutions, alternate evolutionary paths. <laughs> well, <gasps> kaboom! <laughs> kaboom! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so I like that what my, one of my favorite games also happens to be about speculative biology. <laughs> speculative biology is also about aliens. Oh my gosh. This looks to be like a kind of festival area. Very Japanese aesthetic. You've got bokeh lights. You've got the, uh, what is it? Paper umbrella? I don't know what kind of umbrella, you know, the paper lanterns. This kind of fish design, the tassels, the wood, how it's carved. It's all very, very obvious. It's uh, at least Asian inspiration. So obviously they are studying the mammals. So that's, yeah, because they, they wouldn't know. Oh my God, this says meow. Look at the, ah! <laughs> It looks like they scribbled an M-O-E-W, but absolutely that reads to me as meow. That is so cute. Or M-E-O. It, it's meant to be scribbled on a legible, but it looks like meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they're like, what the hell is this creature? This creature has maybe they're looking for immortality because like how long has Judd been alive now I know that he was cryogenically frozen but I mean perhaps <laughs> oh seal has redeemed uh nya, nya, nya. <laughs> they use Judd and little Judd to modify the exteriors into mammals well let's hope not oh gosh that would be bad that would be very bad uh, but it's, look, this is like pinned together like some conspiracy thing. Like, and what the hell is this? Is this a contraption or is them just drawing what's in front of them? Th th this over here. Sorry. Th there. Can, can, you, can you see it now? <laughs> this thing over here. Uh, what was that saying? Hello, Curry Conquers Twitch. <laughs> Welcome to the community. So what is this? Is this a sunflower? What, or is this meant to be fur? Is that, what are they, are they looking at pollen? Like what's, what's the thing, or seeds? What's coming off of this? And what is the significance of his little beauty mark that they are pointing to? What's all of this? Holy shit, what if Lil Judd is working with the Octarians and is willingly giving up some of his DNA? It was confirmed that Lil Judd hates Judd and wants to overthrow him when he gets the opportunity. A Lil Judd was also on Team Chaos? Oh, please don't make Lil Judd evil. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where was it confirmed that Lil Judd hates Judd? <laughs> Aren't they like siblings or something? My brother is crying right now. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, I don't know. But they are obviously looking at Judd and being like, at, at least they're like, wow, he's freaking immortal or something like that. He's also different from every other uh, like creature that has lived to this point. The only other creatures seem to be 
fish, ocean creatures, and birds. We definitely know that there are birds. So uh, they're trying to figure out how to turn into mammals, I see. Okay, so this is a factory facility testing area. Don't know what the hell this is supposed to be, but I assume we're going to fight a boss here, or at least it's going to be a platforming segment. No idea how the bird survived. Oh, Lord in heaven. Yeah, it is. It is gross to see them as mammals. I don't like it. A little abominate. They're upside down again. That's like the third time that I've noticed specifically there's stuff that's upside down. It's got gross little feet. Ah, it's creepy. Okay. Oh, God in heaven. Oh, well, I, I didn't... No wonder this was only on screen for like a second. That's, that's just straight up an actual squid. Oh my gosh. But what would this be? I mean, uh... Like, what are they writing about? Is that, so is that a squid in, in water? Is that a squid on something hot? But this looks like a dried out squid, like pre-evolution for them. Yeah, that's like, yeah, their ancestor, that's, that's it. They survived, there's, they found a dried up ancestor? What the? And they, they use tape? Why would he use tape? This is just, I'm just doing a little bit of scrapbooking. <laughs> Bye, RDB. This looks cool. I mean, this just looks like a modern art exhibit. Let's be real. Stuff's floating. So there was a huge flood that tipped the tower over. I still, I still just see the Eiffel Tower when I look at this, but this is looking uh, a lot like uh, ancient Japanese art. I mean, look at that, look at that style of writing <laughs> and the clothes and hairstyle of this character, the color palette being used. It was a tsunami. <laughs> Just a little happy guy in the corner, cut in half, dead, smiling about it. That's a little creepy. Oh, God. Okay, and then there's oof, this... Oof, oof, oof. Whoa! <whistles> Tokyo Tower? Is that a... Is that a thing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know much about the world. Uh, so you're throwing something at it. It looks like little... That looks like little eggs, like little salmon eggs. A little row, doesn't it? Oh my, oh my God, he's, oh. Oh, he's chucking it, little buddy? Oh no, you're chucking a little buddy at it. Oh, and he's eating it. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that completely went over my head the first time that I saw this. I... I didn't know that was little buddy. Oh, so, no, so those are just like little power and energy balls around him. Okay, I guess. Yeah, they're just little power energy balls. And he just eats it. And then, right, what, farts it out? I don't understand. He just, he's just chilling. He's just a happy little buddy. I don't know, riding a bike. Aw, they're so happy. This, again, is the more like traditional Japanese architecture area. They seem to be chilling here. Well, but <laughs> got little toeless shoes. 
what if the more salmon eggs he has, the more he eats? I wonder if there's going to be any mechanics to take care of him and interact with him. I wonder if you can pet the buddy. <gasps> pet the buddy. And this was interesting to see pixel art. Why pixel art? Is that just the style they chose for this? Or are we going to see this in game at some point? And he looks like he's on vacation. <laughs> I mean, look at what he's decked out in. He looks like he is just on vacay. Now, uh, they're back. We have no idea where Off the Hook is. Uh, I love the new colors that they're sporting. Basically, it's a black, white, and yellow and it's uh they're rocking it they are absolutely rocking it uh and this agent over here has got uh rocking the captain cuttlefish look probably because maybe 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 he's not maybe he's not on vacay maybe he's just retired he's old enough now <laughs> captain cuttlefish retired then agent three gets promoted to captain so the character we're playing is here as a new agent three that would make sense chronum that would make a lot of sense the headphones are a dead giveaway. <laughs> uh, happy girl. She seems to be waving to somebody. Either somebody is coming or somebody is leaving. Just give you some drip. The factory again. Whoa, what was in there? what is in here the orange and yellow stuff what is that okay these little creeps again they you <laughs> that's cute they are ready to kill you this again so they keep they keep bringing this back so this has to have some kind of significance but we have no idea what it is yet oh i had to pat yes <laughs> i love this area it is so pretty oh my gosh it reminds me of journey do you guys know journey from that game company precursor to sky oh but this place is not entirely safe because there are Actarians up here. So this is not just a safe area. Surprise! Stay fresh! The lanterns are gorgeous. This is cute. And they pose, looking fierce, looking fish. <laughs> Literally looking fish. Oh, I crack myself up. I hope at least someone else here understands that reference. <sighs> uh, gosh, they're just, they're just rocking it. But I mean, it looks like it's snowing outside. You know, Marie is dressed for the weather. Callie, aren't you cold? Do you need a jacket? Why is Agent 3 wearing flip-flops? <laughs> Yeah, this, <laughs> they're just posing for the new agent. <laughs> it's kind of funny when you look at it from the further perspective. But yeah, this is, this is cold freaking weather. Hmm. More upside down city. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Ooh, that looks like an eyeball. Like an anatomical view of an eye. Look at that. No? So it's got the cornea. It's got the inside of the eye. All the retinal stuff. That is absolutely an eye. 
Cyberpunk, I predicted it. Yeah, ah, uh, Green Boy. Green Boy is celebrating. Now those, what, what did those look like? Now these things, the, uh, those are the, the little bomb guys that go after you, that like spark and they, they got little shoes. Look at that. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, a very, very small look at our platforming. Okay, looks like there's gonna be glass panels to get around. I'm going to assume you cannot ink and ride up those. Stay fresh! <laughs> well, I get another head pat. Thank you! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go back to uh, normal size. Well, Buddy's happy. Ooh, this place is submerged in water. That's not good. Was it always submerged in water? Is it going to be that way when you find it? Oh, wait, this is upside down. These are stairs. More upside down shit. Could this be in the tower? The big broken tower? Okay. Okay. More head pets. More head pets. Whee. Gosh, that was only on screen for like a split second. It was, uh, okay, it's not very interesting, I see. It's just another one of these guys. Very interesting looking bokeh out there though. More fluff image. Whoa, is that a freaking rocket? They've got a rocket. And it looks like it's getting ready to launch too. Oh my god, and there you are. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's it's all coming together now. Oh my god, that is Octa That is Octavio! Look, there he is with his wasabi! Yo! Oh my god. Oof, oof, oof. Well I oh, oof. Octarian technology is fantastic. Oh, he's crashing! You, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, he's got, he's got like sunglasses on. He's like, I don't even care that I am falling. Look, he just, <laughs> what is on his hat? He just, he just gives off this aura of I don't even care. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from him from that split second. Why? It looks like you're sleeping out there. Why would you be sleeping out here? And yes, absolutely. That is a rocket. That is a rocket. I missed it the first time I saw this. You're also in a dome of some sort. Hmm. And of course we can't read anything, so we have no hints on that. Little buddy seems happy about it. Maybe you wake up there. Oh, that's one of the, uh, oh, the Easter Island heads are here. Why is he? Oh, but wait, there's, there's snow and water. Well, that would be salt water, of course, that can't freeze but that's very interesting that uh the climate that's very interesting i don't know why i'm acting as if places that have snow can't also have water <laughs> shut up i'm not done i mean I, I i meant to say you see that's that's exactly it i meant to say i'm not smart but instead of said i'm not dumb and that is exact proof of what i meant to say Okay, still here, and it, uh, I was just focused on this. Oh, phone, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Me as a language nerd, I, I just, I, I love this stuff. Ah, uh, I, I am such a language nerd. Oh my god, I love how they were able 
to make letters that are similar enough that we can kind of understand them. But it's, oh, and they're so good. They, oh, stay fresh. They just understand the like anatomy of typography so well that I just, oh, I just, I geek out about this stuff. I love how they were able to make up a language that looks like evolved uh, from current human languages. It's so familiar yet so alien. I, I, I geek out over this stuff like you would not believe. That is so... Ah! Because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making uh, a new uh, um, a writing system. I'm going to be making a new writing system soon, so I'm going to have to start thinking about strange symbols and what to write and try to find something that hasn't been written before. I love this so much. So let's watch through the rest of this for this weird shit over here. We'll, we'll go back to regular speed and turn on the volume. So yeah, it's it's some kind of but it's it's growing on the rocks. Why? What is this stuff? And it turns you into a mammal like that or it gives you like a mammal like what the hell? Like how do you get out of that state? Return of the mammalians. Is there anything at the end of this video? Is it just Nintendo all the way? Nintendo all the way. So yeah, this looks absolutely amazing, and they packed so much stuff into just this one little thing. And we still don't even know who the new idols are. We don't even know where Off the Hook is. We've got so much information, yet so little. Yeah, we have not seen anything about Grusco. Oh, wait! That was the off the... Uh... Wait, I, for, for a second I had to check and make sure that that wasn't just a sound redeem somebody did. Hold on. It was just a sound redeem. Do not perceive me. Dude, dude, don't, don't look at me. I'm embarrassed. Don't look at me. No. Uh, yeah, we, we, we have nothing of off the hook in the trailer yet. That's really embarrassing. Oh, gosh. What is the fuzzy Octarians have lost their free will too since they have hair all over them? And then they shoot other Octarians and take their... Well, why would covering them in fur take away their free will? That makes no sense. <laughs> the music is very, very interesting. So many little samples all put together. I'm just giving it another watch through. most excited for the music obviously but of course I am very excited to play it uh, so essentially this is what uh, <laughs> kaboom this is essentially what this video was for this stream that is 
Uh, I'm so glad we already got a demo of some of the music. Yes, I am going to be making a video out of that. Whoa, gotcha! <laughs> There's no more room! There's no more room for more chips! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I think I'm going to post this on my main channel tomorrow for people to see just because I kind of want to, like, you know, I want to participate in the Splatoon 3 hype. Everything's very excited. Or I'll post it on my VOD channel. Maybe I'll make a poll. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you so much for being here with me, guys, and for all of your theories. Thank you so much. And some of the things that just were confirmed to be uh, correct as well, which is cool. <laughs> Can't wait to see your reaction to my... Oh. Thank you! Well, well, thank you! <laughs> Love you, Kayla. Thank you so much for this review. Close to the cost two, three zeros. Uh, ah, <laughs> in the ink. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> yep, uh, I'm going to be heading off because I got work to do on some videos. So stick around for whoever I raid. <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here. Bye!